Cool. What were you saying earlier about uh, why you were grateful for fire trucks and uh, police cars? Because they save people, they protect people, and also fire trucks. Um, don't ever, don't ever. If you see a fire truck coming and it's a green light, move, move to the right. And let them come through. The same with police cars. I saw three police cars today and one fire truck. Because there was a fire near here once. Mm -hmm. Today. Mm -hmm. And why do you pull over? You pull over because people don't want to be waiting for to get so the truck fire trucks can get them. And what if it's something really, really bad? Like a fire, and a cat is inside a building, and there's fire. The That's cat true. wouldn't want to be waiting. That's a very good point. I love that. So, the fire trucks need to come, and need to move aside, and let them come to the room, and then they use their water hoses, and then the cat is saved, and... The people are safe. Well, Eva, if everyone did what you just said, then our cities would be a much safer and better place. Do you have any questions for her mama? Do you think every country has fire trucks? Yes, they do. How about the stop signs? Um, not in every country. Why the stop signs are important? The stop signs are important just in case cars are going and there's no stop signs, no red and green lights, and then you go and crash right into a car. Once I saw a car on the mountain upside down with a person inside it. Yeah, that was scary. Was that Hawaii or where was that? That was um, on the way to school. Oh, on Topanga. On a hill. Mm. It's true. Why do you think seatbelts are important? Why do we always say, fasten your seatbelt? That's because, first can I tell you about my grandpa when he was little? Because this is about seatbelts. When I wasn't born, um, my dad's um, dad um, was inside a car, and back then there was no car seats, no seat belts. So he sat in the car, and when Aunt was driving, he opened the door, and he just fell right out and bonked his head. It's good that he just bonk his head. You you know if the he car is speeding. Out. He felt upside down. Wow. And what would have happened if he was wearing a seatbelt? If he was wearing a seatbelt, then he wouldn't get that. He, he wouldn't have fallen out, huh? He wouldn't fall out if he opened the door. Mm -hmm. And besides, I think they got a po police ticket. Mm. And back in the days, there was no uh, child lock, huh? No. I don't think there were seatbelts back back that far. I don't know. But that's Grandpa Allen. There was no seatbelts. Yeah. Aunt Eileen told me. What would you recommend to other kids? I would recommend seatbelts, car seats, and always, not those ones that you can lean forward. I would suggest the ones that you can't even lean. The ones that you're just buckled and so your child can't fall out. And always um, make sure the car seat is tied to the thing. So if the car seat falls out, then your child's back or the feet wouldn't get hurt. But in the it, head too. In the head. So just the car seat will fall, and you would fall on top of the car seat. That's well, a great that's, suggestion. Yeah. Thank you, Eva. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. 
and I hope everybody describes this video. I hope everybody likes it and I'm very happy happy that you came.